Boom, we got a huge commitment. News coming out of Athens just moments ago that the number one edge in America, Isaiah Gibson, has committed to Georgia. A week ago, Gibson was still committed to the USC Trojans. He decommitted six days ago. And now after spending a weekend with Kirby Smart and his staff, he committed to the dogs. Now I got on three national analyst Steve Wiltfong here to break it all down. But first, this is an exciting time, Georgia fans. Hit subscribe to the on three recruit channel. We love talking UGA recruiting and we're going to do it all off season. Jump on board, hit subscribe. All right. Bring in Steve Weltfong. Steve, we got a major one off the board. How was Georgia able to pull Isaiah Gibson away from USC? Well, relentlessness on the recruiting trail for Isaiah Gibson. He committed to USC during a visit to the Trojans in March. USC never shut it down, led by Chidera, Uzo, Deribe, Glenn Schumann, Kirby Smart, David Cooper. A lot of staffers involved in recruiting Isaiah Gibson and making him and his mom feel at home. In Athens, look, he was out in L.A. He felt the vibe out there. The energy was a big recruiting weekend. Coach Eric Henderson and those guys do a great job. But he's a country boy from the Peach State. George is a place he's always seen himself playing at. Their track record of production, the relationship with the staff, several visits to campus, all have Georgia winning out here over Tennessee, among others at this point in the process. Yeah, and you know, Isaiah gives it, he's been a star for a while. He's been on your radar for some time now, but what makes him such a special prospect? Well, let's start with the fact that he's nearly six foot four, but he has a seven foot one wingspan. He is freakishly long. He's kind of a mutant. He is the mutant of this class, the superhero type measurements. He's an explosive pass rusher that because of that length and athleticism brings you some versatility and he has a lot of upside from a size standpoint because of that. He's a hard worker. He's a physical football player. He can get to the quarterback. He is one of Georgia's top edge rushers in this class, and they're really starting to close on the guys that they covet at the position. They have Darren Kinnigbond in the fold. Uh, now they have Isaiah Gibson in the fold, and then you have Bryce Carter still out there. Maybe it's in-state edge rusher Julius Holly filling that third spot in the class. But Isaiah Gibson, Darren Akinabon are two extremely long, high upside, versatile pass rushers that play to the standard that we're used to seeing Georgia play to and have all the upside to ultimately be first round draft selections. All right. So I know Georgia fans are excited right now, but they're also probably sitting there asking, Steve, is Justice Terry next? He's another five star from the state of Georgia. He's a five star defensive lineman that was committed to USC on that weekend in March, the same one that Isaiah Gibson committed to the Trojans on. Now, Justice Terry also reopened his recruitment last week. Is he next to commit to Georgia? Well, Georgia's on a bit of a heater right now uh, after landing Dontrell Glover today. Uh, Landon Roland, Rolden, an in-state receiver, is probably next for Georgia. Really like the on three RPM there. And on three top 100 offensive lineman, Damola is, is just, Ajidahun is also someone that I have pegged as a prospect that could commit to the Bulldogs soon. But back to Justice Terry, I think he's going to continue through his process, but I think George is going to be extremely hard to beat. He was just at Alabama this past weekend. He's keeping a few schools warm, but he also uh, committed to USC during that visit weekend in March. And we talked about it, Josh, in that moment uh, is USC uh, it kind of reminded us of when Michael Williams and Christian Miller were USC commits, USC leans. We knew it was only a matter of time before it came full circle back to Georgia. Yeah. And that's the way I feel about Justice Terry, who's been on campus a couple times since that USC commitment. Now he's decommitted. Georgia is really trending heavily for him as well. So Georgia now has three five stars committed. They jump Alabama. They're they're in the top three. Ohio State still has that number one class. Do you think Georgia can run down the Buckeyes and overtake them for number one? Well, a lot of it will depend on where guys rank in the final rankings, but I do think that there's a chance because you obviously have five star defensive lineman Elijah Griffin, the number one player in the country at his position from Savannah. Ultimately, think that Georgia lands him. You they're they're in the mix for. A couple of the top safeties in the country, Trey McNutt and Anquan Figgins. Maybe they got to come from behind there, but we've seen Georgia do that. Same with linebacker Tavian Wallace. I think they're at the top or near the top for on three's number one linebacker, Ty Jackson. Uh, and, and, and then we talked about guys like Bryce Davis that are still out there. David Sanders Jr. there on the short list for 
Uh, CJ Wiley is a blue chip receiver that's committing tomorrow. I should have mentioned his name on the who could commit to Georgia next. He's a top 100 player. They're battling LSU uh, and Florida State, among other sports. So certainly there is a roadway for Georgia to finish with the number one class and landing guys like Isaiah Gibson certainly get you closer. All right, dog fans, talk to us. How do we feel about Isaiah Gibson's commitment? Did you guys see this coming? Let us know. Comment section below. Also, do the dogs finish number one overall when it's all said and done in the 2025 cycle? Let us know. Comment section below. Well, you've made it to the end of today's video, but there's hundreds more videos on the On3 Recruits channel for you to check out. And also, while you're here, hit subscribe.